The Indian steel re-rolling sector is experiencing a transformation. Re-rolling mills across the nation are benefiting from reduced costs, increased savings and lower emissions. Energy efficient technology is rapidly being introduced into the steel re-rolling sector, facilitated by a national intervention to reduce barriers to energy efficiency. The project has been implemented by UNDP India and the Ministry of Steel, Government of India, in partnership with the Global Environment Facility. The project had identified 10 technology packages to improve energy efficiency in this sector. While each technology package delivers significant energy savings, it is direct rolling technology that is poised to make the most radical impact on steel re-rolling in India. It seems that direct rolling technology will be the future of SRRM. Why is direct rolling such a revolutionary technology? To understand, let us look at energy consumption in a typical composite steel re-rolling mill. Composite mills consume the bulk of their energy in three stages. The first is the induction furnace, where raw metal is melted and the molten steel routed through a continuous caster to form billets of square cross-sections. These billets are then cooled to ambient temperature in the billet yard. The second area of energy consumption is the reheating furnace, where cooled billets are reheated to prepare them for rolling. And finally, energy is consumed in the rolling mill, where the hot billets are rolled to give them the final product shape. Direct rolling technology disrupts this traditional layout and creates a system to transfer billets directly from the concast to the rolling mill. In doing so, it bypasses the reheating furnace, making it redundant. Direct rolling thereby makes a tremendous impact in energy consumed, slashing energy costs and driving down greenhouse gas emissions. There is a large impact on the economics of the rolled product from the units who have adopted this technology. The entire cost of fuel, which was coming on reheating furnace side, uh, has been replaced, along with many power reduction also. The finished product has improved, productivity has improved, quality has improved, rejections has reduced. The heart of direct rolling technology lies in achieving a billet temperature of 1050 degrees Celsius at the exit point of the casting machine. Casting temperature and proper water cooling in primary and secondary zones play a vital role in the process. PLC-based automation and control system are used for a controlled spray of secondary cooling water in the CCM. A hydraulic shearing machine is used instead of a conventional gas cutter so as to reduce cutting time. Heat loss is further protected by providing an insulated canopy over the conveyor and the speed of travel of hot billets is controlled by VVF drives. The hot billets are thus conveyed to the rolling mill at a temperature acceptable to rolling. Thus, the reheating furnace and associated facilities are not required, saving the total energy used earlier for billet reheating. After the billet is cut into the proper length, and by the time it reaches to the rolling mill, first stand, the, it should reach in the minimum possible time. Second thing was the temperature drop from billet cutting point to the first stand of rolling is minimized within the limit of about 10 to 20 degrees centigrade. Typical investment in direct rolling uh, measure is about four, 4 crore rupees, whereas the benefits due to energy saved, productivity increased, would um, result into a saving of 6 crore rupees annually and which is perpetual. So in essence, the payback is just less than a year. Direct rolling has already been implemented in three re-rolling mills in India and more are in the process of commissioning the technology. We started uh, working on this in sometime in 2011-12, the financial year. We were too desperate to cut production costs. So that was one of the biggest motivation. I think direct rolling has been a fantastic technology. In times to come, in years to come, I think this would be this would be the need of the industry, something which is mandatory. There are almost 400 such composite units which are which can potentially 
uh, have direct rolling as one of the intervention. UNDP and Ministry of Steel are highly committed to support in a catalytic way that a maximum number of these units come forward, adopt these measures and be energy efficient, save money for themselves and also reduce greenhouse gas emissions. The success of direct rolling in Indian re-rolling mills is a resounding endorsement of the technology and a revolutionary way forward for the Indian SRRM sector to achieve energy efficiency, higher profits and contribute to sustainable development.